hello soulmates welcome to a new tutorial video and welcome to a new week we'll be making the bottom part of this outfit so if you look at this outfit the first thing you will notice is that the outfit is an a-line outfit all right then the next thing you're going to notice is the back part of this outfit is longer than the front part, right so it's an a-line skirt with a goddess right or a tail anything you call it and then we have the net the initial net at the front part so i want to teach us how to make the illusion net okay i already have a tutorial on how to draft an a-line skirt the different um patterns of drafting the different types of a-line skirts so check it on my page and you can watch the video extensively so i've already cut the front part and the back part of my a-line skirt can you see just a simple a-line skirt now the first thing we're going to do we're going to work on the back part okay now for the back part remember i said the back part has an extension it has a tail okay so to add the tail the first thing you're going to do is to first of all get the length of your tail right the length is seven inches that you're, go you're going to measure from your round knee that's where your a-line shaping where the shaping starts from to the hem of your skirt do you understand then you get your material that you're going to be using for to attach the tail or as the tail right then you fold it as if you want to cut an a-line skirt or an a-line peplum can you see how i placed it i just put my hand on one edge of the fabric and then just fold it from one edge to the other edge do you understand as you're looking at it now you see you're seeing like an a shape so this is how you you first of all get your shape and then you're going to place it on the back part of your skirt can you see how it's looking this is how to get that the tail the tail extension for your a-line skirt some people call it got that you can call it tail it doesn't matter the most important thing is that you understand what i'm saying okay so but if you don't understand the extensive video on how to cut an a-line skirt is on my page just type it and you see it there so now i'm going to cut out the length of this tail now it depends on your preference if you want your tail to be longer to be very big depends on you the part you are attached to your main fabric is supposed to be seven inches long right now the other part the edge the slant part you can decide that you want the edge that's the slant part of yours to be eight or nine inches longer all right so now i've gotten the shape of mine i'm going to cut it out so that you see how it looks so guys please if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel please guys click on the subscription button like share and subscribe ask your questions in the comment section i'll try my best to explain and give you uh a right answer okay so now i've gotten the length and how long i want my tail extension to be and then i'm going to cut it out okay now when i cut it out guys can you see can you see how it's looking can you see the tail why we call it tail because it's longer so now the next thing you're going to do is to attach it to your zipper allowance part you're going to attach it to the zipper allowance part right now how you're going to attach it is you get one side of your skirt and then you get your pin right and then you use your pin to pin the tail one side of the tail to one side of your skirt and then you hold it down so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to join one part then you join the second part do you get the two sides of the tail do you understand what i'm saying you are joining it you are joining it to the back part of your skirt remember that's that's the allowance area from your round knee where you're going to get the shaping where the shaping of your a-line is starting from that's where you start joining it by the sides all right so the first thing i'll advise you to do is to first of all pin it before taking it to your sewing machine okay first of all you pin it before taking it to your sewing machine now after we are done pinning we're going to sew it the two just the two sides you don't need to join that zipper allowance area no don't just sew the two sides first all right just sew it from that part that's um curved part of your knee just sew it together 
all right so when i'm done can you see i've sewn it i just want us to see how it's going to look first before we join that zip allowance area can you see how the back part is looking can you see why we call it a tail or a goddess an extension you see that that part is very long okay now can you see the part where we stopped sewing now the next thing we're going to do is to now join our zipper allowance area okay just join it with loose stitches can you see so just close it up pin it make sure that your make sure that you pin the hairline right you're going to pin the the zipper allowance area together like so can you see what i'm doing so you just pin it and then you sew it from the waistline down okay please hope you understand up to this part hope you understand up to this part remember we are attaching the the tail to the zipper allowance area all right now if you look at the our illustration you see that it is a a gown all right but i'm giving you the illustration for a skirt because it's, it's still the same way the same way we're going to be making this outfit is the same way they still made it all right do you get so when you join your zipper allowance area the next thing you're going to do is to join the sides your front and your back do you get now i've joined my front and my back i've shaped my skirt this is how it's looking do you understand up to this part i've shaped that's the two sides the size of the skirt now i've joined the front and joined the back now you ask why didn't i put um that putting of that is somewhat not so necessary for this outfit that's why you have to cut it exactly the measurement of the waist even if you are going to be adding allowance add one inch or one and a half inch allowance just for the joining allowance all right so now we want to create that illusion design right from your hip line from your waistline you come down by one and a half inch this one and a half inch is dependent on one your clients right dependent on your client how the person where exactly the person wants the net illusion to sit on okay but from the illustration you can see it's sitting directly on the hip line so i came down by one and a half inch but if you're making an adult dress right you have to cut measure from your waistline to your hip line on top of your hip hip line directly on top of your hip line that's where the illusion net is going to be okay so now when you get it by your side then you use your chalk to first of all mark out the shape the shape you want the illusion net to take can you see i've marked for the front and marked for the back now before even starting this illusion this um practical you would think that this skirt is a six species skirt because of the way the illusion net falls right you're the one that is going to create that illusion net the style line so now i've gotten the style line for the illusion net i'm going to now cut it open can you see i'm going to cut it open can you see this is the first step of getting that design first okay you come down from your waistline by one and a half or two inches or you measure your client and ask your clients where you where the client wants the illusion net design to be right and then you mark it out on your skirt and cut it open now this is the net i'm going to be using a skin like net all right now remember that since we are going to be adding if you want your net to be thicker fold it if you don't want it to be thick just place it just like that okay now remember that the net we are adding right is an addition of material do you get so you are going to subtract it from your outfit from the material so for example now right i'm going to be removing half an inch i'm going to be removing half an inch from the main material because i want the i want the illusion the net to be half inch so since we are adding a net extra material now to we are adding a net to the main fabric you are going to subtract it so you are going to the time after cut, cutting open the design right now you are going to cut out one inch if you look at the design on 
the screen you see that the net is up to two inch or two is up to two two and a half or three inches now since you're going to be putting two and a half or three inches of net you are going to cut out that two and a half or three inches of material from that side part do you get so that when you fix your net your net is going to sit on the material that is not going to be too big do you get what i'm trying to say so guys do you understand this part let me know if you understand this part okay so now i've gotten my illusion net and i've i cut that half inch because i want my illusion net to be half inch when i'm done right i cut that one inch of net because i'm going to join it half an inch by one side half an inch on the other side i cut out one and a half inch half an inch on one side half an inch on the other side what is going to be remaining is half inch do you understand so the first thing you're going to do is to first of all attach the net to the main fabric right that's the main the center piece of your skirt do you understand what i'm saying so now i've attached the net to the center piece of my skirt with half an inch now the next thing i'm going to do is to get the side that that side we cut out now i will now attach it to the net now mind you please make sure you're going to use your pin first of all pin your the base right first pin the base pin the upper part that's the side then pin the other the other base right the base what i mean is from the beginning of your skirt to the other part of your skirt make sure you pin it first before joining it because you know net always shifts so if you don't pin it and net is mostly elastic if you don't pin it it's going to be shifting you you find out that your material is now shorter do you get but if you pin it to your skirt it's going to help you so now guys can you see i've sewn these parts can you see how lovely it's looking can you see the shape it's giving can you see so i'm going to do the same thing to the other parts all right i'm going to do the same thing to the other part please remember to cut out the the size of net that you're going to be adding if you want your net to be two inches wide right the design of your net to be two inches wide make sure that you cut out two inches from the fabric because the net the net is replacing the fabric do you get so now i want to show you how to pin it i didn't show you in the first part okay so the first thing you're going to do so the first thing you're going to do is to first of all pin it right so you get the net your net and the other side of the main fabric that you're going to be attaching then you pin it can you see i've pinned the bottom part then i'm going to pin the side too do you get i'm going to pin the side that the upper part now the side then i'm going to pin the bottom part of the of the back as i said earlier you're pinning it so that it will help you it's going to give you direction when you're sewing it if you don't pin your fabric and your net it's going to shift and it's going to give you a hard time if possible pin from start to the to finish if it is possible right if you're a pro you don't need to pin from start to finish but if you're not a pro please pin from start to finish right so now it's going to help you now to sew it seamlessly guys we are done and this is how it came out okay this is a miniature tutorial but when you do it for your main fabric for your outfits it is going to this is going to come out perfectly so this is how you get your illusion neck design and i hope this tutorial was helpful to you please if this tutorial was helpful please click on the subscription button like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you to my new subscribers and thank you to my old subscribers see you on my next tutorial bye